Hello everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia back with another video. This video is sponsored by a company called Wild Ebony and I just wanna show you guys what the packaging looks like. So they did send me an invisible HD transparent single knot silky straight frontal wig. Um, it is a 13 by four frontal and it is um, super bomb. So I just wanna show you guys the packaging. It came with this little brochure. It came with an elastic band, of course, so that way you can adjust the straps in the back and make it tighter and glueless. It also came with a wig cap, and now we're just gonna get into the wig. So this wig is already pre-customized, so I didn't go in and customize it, only because I wanted to show you guys how this wig is as soon as you put it on fresh out of the packaging. But I do wanna show you guys how this lace looks. It blends really nicely on my skin, and yeah. This is not customized, guys, and you can already see how nice this looks. So it has like a little tag here to give you some maintenance tips on the hair. And we are going to look at this wig on the inside. So it has the straps in the back and of course the two combs on the side and the comb in the back. So I'm just showing you guys around. And I do want to say that the strap in the back I thought was really cool because it actually had their logo on it and I haven't seen a couple companies do that before. So I thought that was super dope and I love the fact that it's stretchy. So here's me just popping on my little wig cap. My hair is braided in like two braids underneath and I'm just gonna cut the tag off of this hair and I'm just gonna pop her on to show you guys how she looks straight out of the packaging. I have not customized this unit, I have not plucked it, I have not bleached the knots. This um, unit already comes with the knots already bleached so that saves you time and energy, especially if you're a newbie and you don't know what you're doing. So I just popped her on, I realized she looked a little crazy. So all I did was just slide my wig cap back I'll do this sometimes if the wig cap is showing through the lace. And because this lace is super thin, super transparent, I didn't want the cap to, you know, give me up and basically snitch on me. So yeah, this is how the hairline looks pretty, pretty good so far. Um, I could go in and pluck it a little bit more, but overall she's not terrible. So I think this would be a good beginner friendly wig. And now I'm just clipping her back and I'm gonna start cutting the lace. Now you wanna make sure when you cut the lace, you do take your time with this. I did speed this part up just because it took about maybe like 30 seconds, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just wanna make sure you're not cutting too far into the hairline and you're just cutting the lace only. And take your time, if you don't know what you're doing, just make sure to take one side at a time and section the hair back, so that way you don't accidentally cut the hair or too much of the lace off. And I like to play around and kinda of see how it's laying. And right now, so far, so good. Okay, so now that she's all cut, I'm just gonna play around with her. I did not put any glue on this unit, no gel, nothing. So I would wear this unit glueless 100%. The only thing is you gotta be careful with these corners right here, which is why I put this little hair on the side. But you could definitely get away with wearing this unit glueless. Um, and because there's an adjustable strap in the back that's super sturdy, it wasn't shifting even when I was doing all of this crazy stuff with my hair. So now I'm just going in with a little bit of argan oil. Um, no specific brand, you don't have to be Super specific, just make sure you're using 100% argan oil. And I'm just going in with my hot comb, just trying to get all those little flyaways down and make sure that this hair is laying as smooth as possible. Once I'm done hot combing the hair, I am gonna go in with my flat iron, which is the Rust CTC. And I'm just using a comb just to make sure all the hair is smooth and nice and even. Um, this unit is 20 inches long. And um, I love the fact that this unit is super dark looking. Um, for some reason, all the units I've been getting recently have been looking like more on the black side than the dark brown side, but I am not complaining because I love the contrast with my skin, especially with my beat. So yeah, I'm just going in, sectioning the hair and making sure everything is nice and pressed out. And I'm gonna give you guys my overall thoughts at the end. This unit was laying pretty nice and I loved how the part looked. I did have to go in and add just a tiny bit more argan oil because there were those little flyaways at the top that were just not trying to let me be great. But once I applied the argan oil and combed it through, it actually did what I needed to do. So yeah, overall this hair is bomb. Um, I love this for a glueless unit. I'm just gonna show you guys how this hair looks up close. It's super silky smooth and it's nice and full, not too thick. Um, as you can see, she's moving. She has a little bit of body to her, so yeah. And look, look at how like velvety this hair is. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I will link all the information down below. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.